everyone absolutely terrified right now? <laughs> just me? Just me? The right person here. Um, that's awesome. I'm, uh, I'm quite terrified right now. And uh, I'm learning more and more that that's exactly where I need to be. Um, Josh, everyone can hear you at the back if you put the microphone on the thing and just talk really close to it. Because there's some bugger that works. Mm. So. I can hear you back there. Cool. And go close to it. Can you guys hear this? Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Beautiful. All right, so you guys are probably wondering uh, what am I going to talk about here? So I'm going to tell you what I'm going to talk about. Um, I guess before we do that though, I just want everyone to take a minute, feel the ground beneath you. Maybe take a couple deep breaths. the revolutionary warrior. It's probably going to mean something different to everyone here, and that's the way it should be. This is a very individual experience for everyone, but it's also a collective experience. So before we get down to a little more about what this is about, I'm just going to read off the mission and vision statement that I have deconstructed and rewritten probably 500 times in the last two weeks. <laughs> so by the next time I talk to you guys, it'll probably be drastically different and hopefully more simple because that's what I've been trying to move towards is simplicity. The first time I wrote what I just read to you, it was two paragraphs long. And after consistently focusing and asking myself, what is the essence of this? I got down to those three lines. So first off, our mission is to explore the ancient and evolving wisdom of nature, nutrition, and martial arts. That doesn't mean you have to be a martial artist to take from this. That's just the language that I know how to speak best. And at our root, we're all martial artists. Simultaneously, we will provide globally conscious individuals with the products, resources, inspiration, and community that is required to realize our unlimited potential. We are courageously committed to a path of empowerment, purpose, awareness, and freedom. Through an unending quest of discovery and innovation and growth, we are dedicated to becoming the world's most cutting edge resource for unlocking the mind, body, and spirit. That's definitely ambitious, but you have to be ambitious. Honoring the wisdom of nature, we will empower our global tribe by igniting the individual, by knowing life in every breath, and by feeling spirit in every action. And that's where the planning goes out the window. Um, I planned on having a lot planned for this, but I don't. that the moment gives you exactly what you need. This is not about having a fixed destination, but it is about having values and about moving with nature, not against it. I think that we all spend a lot of time fighting against the stream. I know I do. And I'm learning to let go of that and I'm learning to do what I'm best at. And that's what I want to encourage everyone to do. Do what you're best at. 
we don't need to be battling against the current. We need to be flowing with it. We need to understand where it's going and then just go with it. Because that's what's most powerful for each of us. I guess I'll talk a little bit about what has led me up to here. And it started off with just a feeling that I think a lot of us have here. A feeling that we're meant to do something. A feeling like maybe the path that's laid out for us by everyone else maybe isn't exactly what we're meant to be doing. But there's something inside of us that knows that we do have a path and it's our path. So after sort of having this aching feeling for my entire life, and largely trying to ignore it because I was trying to please other people and do the right thing. Eventually, it got so painful that I realized that this can't go on anymore. And I started to systematically let go of the things that I hated doing. And it was really, really hard. It was hard to stop doing the things that I hated to do. <laughs> and of course, most people I knew told me to keep doing those things. Especially people who love me. No, this is what you should do. But the first thing is loving yourself. Taking care of yourself. Being selfish. But it's not being selfish. Because when you serve yourself first, you're able to serve others. Love you, Josh. Woo! Love you. So, uh, eventually, after letting go of most of the things that I really hated to do, it got to a point of, okay, well, what next? Am I just gonna, is that the purpose of life, is just to like let go of the things I hate? I don't think so. I think there's more than that. So then I started dreaming. And I think that a lot of people in this room are dreamers. And I started dreaming of a more beautiful world, a world that I wanted to live in. And as I started doing that, I started looking around and seeing all the things that needed to be fixed. Oh, this is so wrong. This is so wrong. So originally, all of my project, all of my projects rather, had a very altruistic tone to them. But I realized that hidden beneath that so seeming altruism was actually a lot of ego. There was a lot that was saying, you need to help these people. They're so lost. <laughs> Where am I? Oh, I don't know, but them. I need to help them. It doesn't matter where I am. It doesn't matter where I want to go. So, eventually I kind of got down to two paths. I narrowed it down. Because at first it's like, the world needs to be fixed, and I need to fix it. I need to fix the world. Which is a massively egotistical thing to say. To presume that I know that in all the wisdom of the universe that the universe messed up. <laughs> got it wrong. And I know that. <laughs> so eventually I got down to two, two options. And one was a very... A very altruistic but egotistical vision of how I needed to mend the world, mend this city. You know, I had this dream of, I need, if I don't unite the top of the oil towers with the yoga studios, the world is going to end. It's going to end. The CEOs need yoga. They probably do. But who am I to say that? What am I best at? 
do I even really want to be teaching yoga to a bunch of oil CEOs? Do I want to be spending my time in... They don't do it. There you go. I don't want to. But it is difficult to have faith that everything's going to work out if I do exactly what I need to do. And then I started asking questions. What am I best at? What do I love to do? If I could do one thing every single day, all day long, what would it be? How would that make me feel? Simultaneously, as I was having these, asking these questions, I started being introduced to literally the best foods in the known universe, as far as I can tell. And it's amazing. My entire life has changed based entirely upon what I've been eating. And the best part of it all is that after fighting against this, the, the stream for so long, saying, no, I shouldn't eat this, I shouldn't eat that, instead of doing that, I just started eating the very best things. And now I don't even really want the worst things for me. I still eat them every once in a while, just cause. But that's okay. And I don't presume to preach what anyone should eat. But I do want to offer suggestions about things that people might want to try. So as I've been eating these amazing foods, and feeling absolutely amazing all the time, my life has just illuminated itself. And eventually I got down to the point of making a firm commitment. I'm going to make a commitment that I am not going to live someone else's life. And it's terrifying. Because when you're living your own life, there's no one to tell you what to do. There's no instruction manual. There's no formula. And there's no map. That's for damn sure. And I wasn't ready for tonight. And I barely have a clue as to what I'm doing. And the one thing that I'm realizing is that you are never ready. You're never ready. The moment is never right. But in that, it's always right. You just got to do it. And since I made that commitment of, I am going to do this, and not only that, I'm going to do what I love more than anything else. The moment that I made that firm commitment, and it happened in my mind, because believe me, I can talk. I can talk a lot, as you guys are probably seeing. But it's something that happens inside. And when I made that commitment inside of myself, suddenly everything I needed was around me. People who I hadn't talked to, who wouldn't return my calls for months and months, were suddenly everywhere that I wanted, or everywhere that I was. And they wanted to get together with me. And they didn't even know why. And it's just been a series of those events for the last couple weeks of, oh, here's the most perfect person ever. And I have something to offer them as well. And it's in that relationship in helping each other, helping each other do what we want to do. I want every single person in here to be able to do exactly what it is that they love to do. And I'm committed to making that happen, to helping that happen, making his reeks of ego again. But I want to help that happen because it is what we're meant to do. We're not meant to do anything else other than what we are meant to do. And it's fun. And it doesn't have to be hard. But it will be scary. Thank you.